Could this new Jaguar F-Type Coupe be the best looking car on sale today? And more importantly, is it as much fun to drive as the looks suggest it should be? Let's find out. As usual, we'll rate this car in the three key areas of space, driving and affordability before giving it an overall score out of 10. Right guys, I'm not going to spend ages talking about space today because frankly, I just want to get out and drive this thing. But I do just want to point out this boot because it's usefully bigger than you get in an F-Type Roadster. So you could get a couple of overnight bags in there or maybe even your weekly shop. In here, meanwhile, you get just two seats rather than the two plus two layout you'll get in a Porsche 911, but it is a very nice interior with some great design touches. Sumptuous leather seats and air vents that glide open on motors impress, which is more than could be said for the slightly dated sat-nav and infotainment system. Look up close and you do start to see a few areas where the Jaguar can't quite match the fit and finish of a Porsche. It does, however, sound the business. For space, the F-Type Coupe scores 6 out of 10. The entry level model is a supercharged V6, while at the top of the range there's a quite bonkers V8. But it's this supercharged V6S in the middle of the range that we think is the one to have. Put your foot to the floor and it is scintillatingly fast. Plus it sounds great and this 8 speed automatic gearbox, which comes as standard with the F-Type, shifts quickly and smoothly whether you let it do its own thing or use these paddles behind the steering wheel. The handling is not quite as sharp as a Porsche 911, but that's a bit like saying Return of the Jedi is not quite as good as The Empire Strikes Back, because this thing is still absolutely awesome. The steering is sharp, it's got great body control, and because it's rear wheel drive, you can use the throttle to help steer the car through the corners. With 374 brake horsepower and 330 pound-foot of torque, the S model can sprint from 0 to 62 miles an hour in just 4.9 seconds and has a top speed of 171. Just as impressive is that Jaguar has engineered a supple ride quality into the F-Type, which combined with low levels of wind and road noise make it a good companion for long journeys. Scintillating to drive fast, yet also a pussycat at town speeds, the F-Type Coupe scores 9 out of 10 for driving. When it comes to affordability, the F-Type Coupe is unusual in that it's priced between a Porsche Cayman and 911. With bang for your buck, however, this is king. Take the top of the line V8R model, for example, which although £2,000 more expensive than a 911 Carrera S, offers an extra 150 brake horsepower. That said, it's worth bearing in mind that Jaguars traditionally don't hold their value as well as Porsches and that insurance and fuel costs will also be high. Even so, the F-Type scores 8 out of 10 for affordability. Take emotion out of the equation and the F-Type Coupe can't quite match a Porsche 911. However, purchases like this are all about emotion. The F-Type Coupe is a car that makes you smile every time you look at it. That gives you a thrill, just knowing you've got the keys in your pocket, and that gets better and better with every mile you cover. It's a really, really great car. Overall, the Jaguar scores 8 out of 10. For more car reviews like this from Rebecca and myself, subscribe to the Telegraph Cars YouTube channel up here, or go to the Telegraph Cars website down here.